we got an interesting little repair job that we're going to work on. My pesky, noisy neighbor car. Okay. <laughs> got an interesting little repair job here. Um, this is from a guy at work. Actually, he's an engineer that I work with uh, pretty regularly now. And um, actually, it's his son's motorcycle. So we'll just call him... Um, uh, Spawn of Soft Hands. That's going to be his nickname. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Spawn of Soft Hands uh, had a little uh, um, <laughs> little problem with gravity, apparently. And these are uh, saddlebag mounts off of a BMW R1100, I think it is. And uh, as you can see, this one's kind of displaced a little bit. This is what it's supposed to look like, but a mirror image. So we're going to do... I don't know if these are available or what, or if he's just torturing me to see if I'm uh, if I'm game for fixing it. But uh, we're going to give it a try and see if we can straighten some of this stuff out and kind of get it back into position and see what's missing. Um, I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm just going to pluck this off. I think this is just glued on here. Yeah, it looks glued. This will just unscrew. And then I'm down to kind of metal, and uh, I don't have to worry about things like that. So... Uh, bust this down a little bit and get it into a state that we can uh, apply some um, some impact uh, impact devices to oh yeah I'm gonna get those out of there too okay so let's uh, go over to the to the <coughs> welding table and uh, we'll start massaging this thing down a little bit what we can do. Alright, I got some uh, instruments of destruction here and what we got here is it's a selection of copper punches and what I'm going to do is you know I don't want to get too greedy right out of the gate so I'm just going to start working some of the areas that are easy to access and kind of straighten things out um, and these are nice because you can direct a blow exactly where you want it and they don't slip off so you can reshape the ends and uh, into to reach you know into areas that are hard to access with regular stuff and uh, so you're not just you know swinging a hammer blindly right you're directing your blows to very very specific spots so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hit it in just the right place so I see a little spot that, uh, that I like the look of uh, for working on first. Yeah. So, and then I, this is really nice to have a, uh, to have a model, uh, or a, uh, something that's in pretty good shape. Okay, that's pretty flat then. Anyway, and so it goes. I'll just flatten this stuff out and just kind of work this stuff back into position. I, you know, I fully expect it to actually break uh, part way through this, but uh, we'll get as far as we can. Um, yeah, actually, so what I want to do is I want to bring these together now. So I want to take. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking at how this deformed, right? And I just kind of reverse that process a little bit. So, yeah, I think I'm going to bring that around, and then, okay, well, let's, uh, let's go to it. <laughs> and now that, when you're trying to film this, the trick is to not hit the camera. <laughs> That's one of the... Uh, one of the uh, primary things there. Right, I think that'll work. Okay. Yeah, it kind of came back pretty good. Work that a little more. Right, it's looking better already. So now. 
Boy, that's got to go a long ways around, isn't it? Oh. Okay, no, that was good. That uh, uh, it felt like it slipped, but uh, like it was tearing, but uh, it actually just kind of slid into position. Looking good. All right, let me fiddle around with it a little more. So as I uh, get this thing like bent around and things lining back up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of weld to kind of lock that area of the break in so that it can't change relationship to one another. So we're just going to put a little, I'm going to put a little tack right there and uh, kind of hold the world together. Punch that down a little. Yeah, this thing's really wound up. It's like seriously wound around the corner there. Actually, it's not a bad position. Let me get set up for the next bit. Let's try this. Time for another tack. What do you guys think? Make sure that's all pushed up. Yep. I think we're time for another tack. I got a tack right there. firms up that whole thing there. It has to come down considerably. I, I, need to, I really like to pin it down on that screw to firm that whole thing. up and then get that piece pushed down you can see where it pulled pulled out of there hmm. 
That's not bad. That's getting close. Hey, looks a lot better already, right? All right, we're going to use our little uh, nip picks. These are great. If you haven't seen these, these are smooth jawed uh, lever action, um, parallel action. Uh, these are sweet little pliers. If you haven't tried them yet, I highly recommend them. They're great for non marring, but you can grip. Uh, Okay, so that, that edge needs to line up up there, so that has to come up considerably. It looks like we got a, some material here that has to come up, so we're going to flip it over and uh, get at that and just work it. So you can see, you know, it's, we're just going slow here and little at a time. Like I said, you, you know, the trick is to not get greedy and start smashing away. You just kind of work it slowly and uh, see where things want to go. That's always the best recipe. Yeah. So yeah, we got to punch that down. I think so I got to find a good way to support that so I can knock it down. I need I need a helper. Is what I need in this case here, where they could just kind of hold it. Yeah. You see here. Let's see if you can see that. If I can point it out. It was broken here before because it was rusty, right? So that material has to kind of come up and get into oh you know what maybe I can just uh, I can do a L squeezo here huh? it's not really going no, it's not it's not going up in there anyway uh, I gotta fiddle around with it and uh, get that down and that up into that little recess there Wish me luck. Look at that right there. Well, that helped a lot, actually. See, that's almost that's almost back where it belongs up in there. Ooh, we might be able to get a little tack right in there. I want to work around that bolt hole a little bit more. You can see it's. You can see that this has got a little a little wowie in it right there. A little chingaza in there that we need to get out. Actually that's not a bad spot right there. Let's try that. Let's just give it a little a little clobber right there. Alright, feels pretty good. Bam. Okay. Now I need a little post. So I can push that back down. That looks like it's out of position. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's out of position a little bit. Oh, it's getting stiffer. Oh, I might be able to, I may be able to reconnect that right there. Oh, it's just out of position, just a teeny bit. And I can tell, you can see the, you see that little hook right there? That needs to intersect with that little hook, so I know I'm out of, I'm out of position, just, you know, a millimeter and a half or so there, so I need to, I need to do something, right? All right, hey, we're getting it. Kind of fun. All right, so we got a little, uh, a little post sticking up now. And this will allow us to kind of access that area a little bit. Boy, I'm using the heck out of that particular punch there. So if you can't clamp it the way you want, sometimes... Yes, yeah, so that uh, actually looks pretty good. So yeah, this is the natural thing. It just wants to come down more. I might want to... I want, might want to tap a hole so I can clamp it down right at that spot and just kind of work it right from there. But let's uh, let's keep going here. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, let's let's get let's get a little, a little bit right. There. Yeah, OK. 
Okay, hey, what do you think? What do you think, guys? Are we getting onto it? I think we're getting onto it from what it was uh, right out of the gate, huh? <laughs> close we might it's possible we're missing a little piece of metal but I don't think so this this edge dropped in really nice it kind of snapped in almost like a jigsaw puzzle so that felt pretty good I think I'm gonna get a little weld on that I don't want to do anything there yet and boy, I'd like to get a I'd like to get a tack on that little sucker too Boy, it's close, huh? She's close. Gotta pull it up just a little more. Maybe I can get it with this here. Might be close enough for for this job, but you know. You gotta remember a machinist is doing this, right? So that's like, that might as well be like, oops, you know, it's out of the damn frame. You gotta remember a machinist is doing this, so uh, that might as well be <laughs> like a mile, right? So, it's close, I can't quite tell. So th this thing is stiff, because it's formed, right? And it's it's bent back on itself, so. Maybe this whole thing needs to be displaced that way a little bit. You can try that. Try that. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Not bad. That's not the bad. Knock the heck out of that, though. But maybe, maybe it's worth it to get a tack on that. I don't know, that's allowing me to move this around, though, so I got to be careful. We're almost there. Almost there, and ready for a little welding. So. This thing's looking pretty good now. That's kind of back where it belongs, mostly. It's still. I think I'm gonna try. See, my hand, my hand catches it going in this direction. So that means that this side, that side's high. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clobber that down a little bit. I got a tack there. I went ahead and tacked that. That was pretty good. Uh, I'm leaving this open right now until uh, I get a little, a little bit further and then uh, I'll tack that. And then we're just going to go around and we're going to weld up all these cracks all the way around and uh, throw it over the fence to, uh, to my buddy at work so, uh, and see if it uh, passes muster. The proof will be when it goes back on the bike if it all fits properly. back into that. Mm, looks not bad. Mm, not bad. That's looking pretty good. That's 
pretty good. All right, well, almost ready for some weld. That's about as good as it's going to get. I think I'm ready for some uh, some real welding there now. Let's see here. It all feels pretty good. Let's do this. Uh, that looks like it could get pushed in a little bit. I don't know. I'm getting tired of screwing with this thing, so I'm going to weld it up. You guys knew there was going to be some files in this, right? You know, all the die grinder guys are screaming out there, why don't you just use a die grinder on that? Well, the reason is you can get, you just have exquisite control with a, with a hand tool. You can stop before it's too late. And it's nice and quiet too. You know? The time in my shop is my quiet, relaxing time, right? I fixed a, uh, a uh, broken uh, head on a KTM dirt bike for a friend of mine a long time ago. And um, the aluminum head, and he threw, a, I don't know, he threw a cam chain on the thing and broke a piece out of the head. And, but the matchup of the broken casting was like nearly perfect. And so just for fun, I kind of put it back together and I spent a, I don't know, I spent a fair amount of time dressing the weld so that you really couldn't tell that it ever broke. And I gave it back and I, I glass beaded it so it looked like the stock finish, right? And uh, I was like, so uh, where's this break you were telling me about, right? <laughs> anyway, it was kind of funny. And, he got a kick out of it and he was all happy because he didn't have to buy a new a new head from uh, from KTM. I need to put a little more weld in there. Eh, 
I'm about ready. Oop. Yeah, my, my light just died. Okay, that's enough. Okay, well, I've had enough. Um, it actually came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the, uh, with the results. You can see the Frankenstein surgery in there to get all those pieces lined back up. But uh, from a geometry standpoint, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the, like I said, with the results there. Hold these back to back like so. It seems it's back kind of where it's supposed to be. So uh, I'm calling it quits. And um, if uh, son of uh, or spawn of uh, soft hands, uh, <clears throat> there we go. Um, needs any minor tweaks? I think he can probably handle it uh, from this point without too much trouble. In fact, uh, I'm going to make him glue this back on. I don't know what I have uh, glue-wise that uh, might work for that anyway. I'd probably want something like, I don't know, that's pretty, pretty tough stuff. Uh, weather strip adhesive maybe or something like that. Anyway, um, there's an example of a repair work, a uh, little bit of patience, and uh, slow slow work um, you know you know watching how the material will kind of wants to go back together and you can uh, you can affect a pretty good repair um, so if this truly is not available and uh, they're a rare bird I don't know if that's true or not there's a part number I know the internet junkies will probably look that up um, and say oh yeah those things are 12 bucks uh, so. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, that was an interesting little project.